Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we've memorized our multiplication tables, now we're ready to start utilizing that, to start using the knowledge that we've gained, the memorization that we've gained to try and solve these types of problems. So what we're going to do now is multiplying a two-digit number with a one-digit number. And there's some tricks to that as well, so let's see what we can do. Here we're multiplying 12 times 6. Notice that the, the unit number here, the 2, is a very small number. So when it's like this, then I recommend that you look at it like this. This is the same as saying 10 plus 2 times 6. So we break the number out between the 10 and the 2. 10 plus 2 is 12. So when we multiply the 6 times the 10, we get 60. So this is equal to 60. And 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And 60 plus 12 is equal to 72. So the way we look at a number like that, we go, OK, 6 times 10, that's 60. I remember the 60. 6 times 2 is 12. I remember the 12. 60 plus 12, 72, and that's my answer. But when the second number here, when the, well, I should say when the unit number here is a large number, so that 18 is almost 20, it may be easier to look at it like this. Instead of writing 18, we can think of that number as 20 minus 2. And we'll multiply this times 8. Now 20 times 4, that's 80. And 2 times 4 is 8, but we have a negative there, so that's minus 8. Subtract 8 from 80, that gives me 72. And it's easier to think of it like that. So when you say the number 18 and multiply times 4, think of it as 20 minus 2. 20 times 4 is 80. 2 times 4 is 8. 80 minus 8, or 80 minus 8, yes, is 72. 26 times 3, you can do it either way. You can think of it as the number 20 plus the number 6 added together times 3. So you can say, well, 20 times 3, that's equal to 60. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 60 plus 18 is equal to 78. Or you can think of it as 30 minus 4 times 3. 30 times 3 is equal to 90. 4 times 3 is 12. Subtract 12 from that. 90 minus 12 is 78. And of course, you would get the right answer, the same answer if you did it right. So you can see those are the kind of tricks you think about when you look at multiplying numbers like that. Over here, 45 times 6, I would look at it as 40 plus 5, because I remember that multiplying times 5 is always easy to do. So 40 plus 5 multiplied times 6, that is the same as 40 times 6. Well, 4 times 6, that's 24. Add a 0, that makes it 240, plus 5 times 6 is 30. 240 plus 30 is equal to 270. So again, 40 times 6, think of it as 4 times 6. So imagine for a moment that the 0 isn't there. 4 times 6 is 24, but the 0 is there, so add a 0, that gives you 240. 5 times 6 is 30. 240 plus 30 is 270. And finally, when I look at 76 times 3, again, you can do it like 26 times 3. You can think of it as either being 70 plus 6 times 3, or you can think of it as 80 minus 4 times 3. 70 times 3, again, 7 times 3 is 21, but add a 0, that gives you 210, plus 6 times 3 is 18. 210 plus 18 is equal to 228. If you write it as 80 minus 4 times 3, 80 times 3, again, 8 times 3 is 24, add a 0, that's 240, minus 4 times 3 is 12, so 240 minus 10 is 230, 230 minus 2 is 228, and you get the same answer. Again, notice how easy it can be to multiply a two-digit number times a one-digit number if you use one of those two tricks. And that's how we make the work for us a lot easier when we try to multiply a single-digit number with a two-digit number.